Okay, Yard Fanatics, welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. This is Michael Bowman, your host, BYD, Big Yard Dog. And guys, if you are tuning in to this video, you are trying to figure out how do you get that last green push on your Bermuda lawn, especially in the month of August, all right? We're going strong and hard with this, and we're going to mean and green with this yard, all right? So guys, if you hadn't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscription button and turn on those notifications, and I'm about to show you how to keep it mean and green through the month of August. You are watching Bermuda Grad Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Okay, Yard Fanatics, look, try not to make another 40 hour video, but we're gonna um, go ahead and start this off. We're gonna hit this hard with 46 double O. You've seen it in the, in, the, in the thumbnail. Hopefully it was in the thumbnail. But guys, the reason I'm hitting it hard with that because we got some spots in this yard that we want to completely fill out. And according to my soil test, this is a maintenance hit right here, which means I did it in, I think it was um, early July. You saw that video. If not, click on that link up there and you'll see that video. But we're gonna hit it again one more time. Guys, this will not be my final hit as far as um, putting down fertilization. Yes, I'm still on the purely organic fertilizer program and I will be coming back probably it's going to depend but you're looking at late September somewhere around there mid September be my final push as far as putting down a fertilizer on this lawn right here guys and if you've seen it before it was a mess but she is looking good now okay guys just a brief summary that's the back you got hybrid and you got common on the other side of it right now we hit that back with a, um, okay guys, we hit that with a Sunnyland um, iron product, okay? And you know about that. And guys, I'm, I'm telling you a lot real quick. This is gonna answer a bunch of questions. We put granular iron on this side of the lawn and liquid iron on this side of the lawn, all right? We did it just to see what we did in the green. All right, the other side we just did the regular iron, all right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, it looks a tad bit greener on this side because we double up on the product. On this side right here, we got the Sunnyland liquid iron product. We did it with a surfactant. The other side we didn't, but we did a surfactant on this side. And you can see, it looks good. All right, so let's go and check out the front. Okay guys, in the front we went with a Sunnyland granular, the 16.5 iron product, and it's still looking good, guys. You know, the only difference between that, it takes a little bit longer for it to green up because you gotta wait for the rain or you gotta water it to death. All right, let's go check out the Ferdy Loom side. Okay, you are for next. This is the Ferdy Loom side. Hopefully, you can see it. And I mean, it's awesome, guys. It's awesome. Now, when I hit it with this 46 double O, what I'm trying to do is push this thing a tad bit harder, and I got some spots. Let me show you real quick. Okay, hopefully you can see these spots right here. But you see right in here, this is the final push where I'm trying to get this grass to boost up before we get ready to go into fall. Now, like I said, it's the beginning of August. Some of you guys are already prepping for fall. BYD is still prepping for the summer. Summer doesn't end until what? Um, near the end of September, so guys, look. I'm not trying to go ahead and stop this. I want this thing full throttle. And I'm gonna get a little closer. I want you to see in there, that used to be bare. All right, you look real closely. You can see it filling in. Well, it's not filling in, it's filled in. All those gaps I had, guys, from that ryegrass destruction, it's gone. All right, guys ask me what's my favorite one? The Ferdy Loom, I'm sorry. Ferdy Loom is the bomb, all right? but. Let me go ahead and show you what's about to go down, okay? Like I said, guys, this is what we're gonna run again. You've seen this before. Like I said, I did a video with it. It's that Lesco 46 double O. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and use the Lesco spreader. We're gonna put this thing down. And like I said, guys, I'm kind of speeding through this because I don't wanna make a five hour video. 
but we're gonna go ahead and use the Lesco spreader. We're gonna go ahead and push this thing out. But before we do that, guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing a cut, get it right, because the best way to apply your fertilizer is to cut your lawn first. Make sure your blades are sharp. Cut your lawn first. Apply your fertilizer. Now, I want you guys to listen to me closely. If you're pushing hard this last month of August and you're still in a drought, you cannot push hard like I'm about to do. Our temperatures have dropped the round mid 80s and we've been getting rain a lot lately. So my push is going to be a totally different from your push. All right. So if you got still 90 plus degree weather in Texas, do not put down a high nitrogen count and you cannot fertilize that lawn. I said once before in the video, you cannot put fertilizer on a lawn and expect for it to get green. You have to have hydration. And yeah, guys, your best hydration is going to come from rain. Why is rain more important than the regular irrigation? Rain covers a large area at one time all over. It's not spotty. It's not here and there. Rain forces more water into the ground than you would from a regular sprinkling system. Rain is all natural. Like I said, the only thing you got to worry about once you wash that small got the sky you got straight h2o where's the water it's coming out your faucet has chemicals in it fluoride and like i said that's not going to do anything but your rain is your best watering source i hear guys saying i've been watering this out of it and it's, it's just not getting green but when you get two or three days of good rain it's totally different from running your sprinkler system so if you're out in texas or a state that's just getting scorched right now that's why you're having those issues where you're watering it and it just seemed like it's not greening up you get three or four days of rain i guarantee you that will change so okay you are for next before i go ahead and put that fertilizer down i'm gonna go ahead and give it a cut real quick and like i said guys i'm doing this by myself bit of sad news it's it's not really sad news but a lot of guys been asking me where's byd jr byd jr is finding himself um, he asked me, well, I asked him today, come out here and help me do this film, such and such, blase, blase. And he's a millennial kid, okay? All of them act the same. They don't want to do what it takes to, to, they don't have a hustle or a drive. So he just basically informed me that I don't want to be in the video, this and that. So at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm not through with him, but I'm just through trying to, only thing I do is lead by example. And these kids, they don't even get that, you know. They want, but they don't want to give. So if you don't see them in a video, you may see them in a video cutting grass, this and that. But as far as what he's told me, he's not interested in doing any of this. So it's just going to be BYD Senior Solo probably from now on out. So let's go ahead and do this quick cut. And then we'll come back and we'll put the fertilizer down. fanatics and it, it, even back here let me show you like i said i used the beast to cut that half all right byd jr will cut the hybrid half over here with the 22 inch snapper lawnmower all right and we do it for a reason you know i'm always testing guys always testing i found i get a better cut on this with that 22 inch now when i cut over here with the big mower I get a better cut with the big mower so i don't know necessarily if it's because i get more shade back here this grass is a little bit less tolerant of a heavy duty mower on it than that one over there i just it's it's it's, it's always a testing thing going on with me all right so let me go ahead and finish this up real quick
Hey Yard Fanatics, look, next we're going to go ahead and put this uh, 4600 or 4600 down. And um, we're trying to get this down before it gets dark on us. Guys, even if you got a night water, you may have to night water your product in. Uh, one thing about this 4600, if, if you don't have rain coming and you got those high temps, don't put this stuff on your yard because it will burn its slap up, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this down and cut it open. Okay guys, like I said once before, this bag, one bag covers roughly uh, 23,000 square feet. All right, now I'm gonna be applying it at uh, basically a little bit over two pounds. I think it's 2.17 pounds per 1,000 square feet. And I have to put the settings on, let me check, say let's go all rotary models, um, the number 12. And let's look at the okay, settings. Guys, Hopefully the you can see that. See right there where that arrow is? Let me see if you can see that. Okay, there it is right there. All right, so I'm gonna get toilet. two pounds of fertilizer per 1,000 square feet. And I think it's a little bit over that. I think it's like two point, I think I said it before, 2.17 to be exact. So let me go ahead and push this lawn and we'll go ahead and get the sprinklers going because they're saying it's gonna be a chance of rain tomorrow around by 11 a.m. I'm gonna water this thing in tonight. All right, so let me go ahead and, and push the spread. Okay, you are for next. Now look, I get asked this question. BYD, if, if I'm coming down, because you notice I did my trim pass in that first video. All right, I'm gonna come down and do a trim pass. So when you go by, you swerve out, okay? But then you kick an extra fertilizer in the next line one way you can avoid that is this if you don't if you're scared that it's gonna you know affect that tree you can put down some cardboard boxes or you can put down a tarp to catch the excess all right let me show you those are the cardboard boxes right there and I don't have them spread it all over this I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do or you can put the tarp there you are for next look I put the tarp down there you you see kind of what I'm talking about and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna bring this uh, spreader down here so you see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, you are Fanatic. Look, I'm gonna get the spreader, and as I come down, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me with this airplane. All right, so hold on. Okay, you are finesse. Now you saw how I kept going straight. <clears throat> Get a little closer, how I kept going straight. I got all that right there and I lightly just blow that back into the grass. But what that does guys, that keeps my line straight. It keeps me from coming down the hill. I know it's wobbly guys, I don't have my gimbal. But coming down the hill, then having to do this. And what I end up doing is coming off my line, kicking more fur over that way so when I, come back this way I'm getting double the fur in that particular area and this is a 46 double O guys you don't want to over apply this because if my temps kick up my heat index go up I doubled up in that spot I may get a burn issue right there but yeah that's that's one of the little tricks guys we use when we out there sometimes sometimes you don't have to if it's regular fertilizer like a 24 011 I'm not concerned about it getting in the flower no, no, I take that back. Not the flower bed, but the pine straw bed. Now, so if it's a flower bed, you want to make sure that you have an edge guard or you figure out a way, just like I did, cover them up, go by. If you got an edge guard, you're still kind of good, but at the same time, you'll still throw extra fertilizer in your next line, all right? 
that's just a little tip. Let me go ahead and do this trim pass and finish this up so we can talk about it. There you are, fanatics. I just want you to see. You see it right there? Let me get my finger there. That's that 46 double O rear right there. You see the little white dots? One right there. So it's vital that I get this watered into the ground. You don't want this fertilizer sitting on your leaves because if that heat kicks up, you're gonna get burn marks or yellowing on that leaf. You gotta get it watered in. Especially this 46 00 guys. And this goes with any fertilizer. Matter of fact, I got a video on how to optimize your fertilizer. Need you guys to click on that corner up there and check out that video. I may just go ahead and put a playlist in there. I'm not sure yet, but guys, I'm trying to get you best information. Like I said, I'm doing it by myself. BYD Junior fired itself. <laughs> it is what it is. So let me go ahead and finish this up and we'll talk about it. Okay, Yard Fanatics, look, we got it all done. It's like 8.10, 8.15, I'm sweating, I'm tired. Still got that darker green going on than the neighbors over there. You see that, guys, but we got that stuff put down. One thing you want to make sure is that you get that fertilizer off your concrete. And like I said, if you got iron in it, make sure you put get it off because you may get stains. Um, I'm trying to think of everything else I could take. It, uh, make sure you get it watered in. ASAP. Like I said, the best way to apply your fertilizer is to go ahead, cut your lawn, do all your edging and all that stuff, put your fertilizer down, then water it in the same day if possible, guys. That's the best way that you can get that fertilizer into that soil and get those results that you are looking for. All right? So, okay, you are for next. See, I got that water going. We'll probably be doing some night water in the night. Like I said, I'm not going to chance it. You know, they said rain coming tomorrow around 11. That's just too late in the day. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay up and water this thing all night. Okay, you are for next. So this is the final push to get this grass to spread, get a little bit thicker before we start approaching fall, all right? And like I said, guys, I got some fall videos about Bermuda lawn. I'll still make another one on here, but that, this is very vital. Like I said, I'm coming back probably mid-September, somewhere around there, to do the uh, purely organic, all right? So guys, just remember one thing. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman on the Barbecue Grill, and I'll talk to you soon.